guess what? These things, feathers aren't just for tying flies. It turns out that the things that I have looked my whole life to find, these feathers are awesome. They're really popular right now for feather jewelry, earrings, hair weaves, uh, chokers, wristbands, uh, feathered masks, costumes. So we, what we want to do is, is show you a little bit of what, of what we have. Um, and again, I'm coming at this from a fly tires point of view, but over here, these are all saddle hackles. They're from the saddle of the bird. They tend to be, well, these ones, these birds were selectively bred. They're domesticated birds to have really long hackles. And when I take a tape measure to these... And this one is a dyed grizzly saddle patch in yep. specific. This is a, this is a hairline dubbin product. Black and white, and so here's an average feather, and it's a bit over 10 inches. It's called 11. The longer ones on this saddle patch are almost 12. Now, here's a whiting. This is called a, a, a whiting euro hackle. This is called white. It has some very subtle dark barrings on it. These feathers, uh, 14 inches. Wow. Oh my gosh, amazing. And and is it? Can, can you see? They're really, they're really slender. These are fine, narrow feathers. As I understand it, these are the ones that are in high demand for hair weaves. Here's a, a Euro hackle in a natural grizzly. These are very faintly barred. This is kind of a gray and white. This is a natural color. Let's see those. They're very vibrant. This is a natural color. This is a dyed kind of a sunburst yellow Euro hackle. Uh, so there is some variation, but you're almost always going to see 10 inches length in these hackles, sometimes more. This is called a natural brown. These are, and some are slimmer than others. This is a brown or a furnace. These are really slim, whereas these are can tell they're a little, they're still slim but they're a little bit wider um, Wow that color pop chartreuse green a deep blue hot pink olive very subtle a couple of colors of purple. Um, so these are full saddle patches. There are um, principally in the natural colors, browns and grizzlies. We have half patches. Now these really are the narrowest, stiffest hackles. Principally for dry flies, very small flies, but there are a lot. Now, I don't know how many feathers are on one of these patches. It's got to be well over a hundred, isn't it, Chris? Yeah, no, maybe more a, than maybe that. A, maybe couple a, hundred. Couple hundred. <laughs> we, have, we haven't counted. Anyway, saddle hackles. Neck hackles. These will range from very small, they're all narrow, but very small at the tip. And those might be useful on feather masks. And they get longer and longer, whereas these ones are almost the same length. This, these are longer feathers towards the base, and they are indeed wider, and they have a little bit of curvature to them. Very nice for different kinds of uh, costume jewelry applications. Beautiful colors. Here's a natural brown. Look at how subtle those are. Very fine tips beautifully marked stems. Here's a cream color. Again, short and narrow at the top. Long and a little bit wider. 
with a curve toward the base of the cape. Here is a beautiful, I think this might be called a Cree. Cree variant, very Cree difficult variant. to come by. Very. You've got some badger in there, you've got some oh. Cree, that's it. These are absolutely exquisite feathers. And last but not least, this is a jungle, these are domestically uh, grown jungle cock feathers. This is a full cape and the feathers down at the base again this would be for feather masks or chokers, um, uh, wristbands um, and these these feathers they call them nail feathers or eyed feathers. Very distinctive look with the little white pupil and the black background it's, it's, and it's a very glossy. It's almost like an enamel on each one of these feathers. Um, these are very rare. So that's kind of a selection. Um, and we have more things coming in. Availability, you never know from day to day. Uh, but we are working on expanding the range and the depth of colors that are available. So if you don't see something you, you like here, Give the Caddisfly a call or send an email and we'll see if we can help you.